All right, y'all. What up, man? It's your boy Euphoria. Thank you for entering Euphoria. First of all, I love this feedback that I'm getting on my reaction to J Hope Moore. My God, it just fills my my heart. Like again, I told y'all, man, I'm a pretty big dude, but I got a big heart. I can't help that. I can't run away from it. Probably why I love BTS. Anyway. We finna go in today and I'm coming all off the top of my head. So the only thing I don't like about when I go off the top of my head is I don't get all of my points in, but we gonna make it right. Let's talk about the J-Hope, Hope in the Box teaser that was just released just now or today. Um, Okay, it's just so much to talk about. We gonna run through it. This is gonna be a little longer than usual. We gonna run through it. Um, first of all, loving the comments that I'm getting on the, uh, J-Hope, uh, more reaction video. It's all beautiful, but let's talk about that. Personally, um, I love that J-Hope is doing this because it's, it's, he's truly expressing him. This is who he really is. And this is what I'm picking up from this. He's, this isn't just some experiment you know what I'm saying? That he's doing because this artist, we're very creative, but we also experiment. But this is not an experiment. This is him. And what I'm loving about this the most is now that I'm really starting to see him really express himself, how he wants to really express himself. So much of I'm going back and I'm looking at or when I stumble across older footage of BTS and older moments with J-Hope and BTS and this and that. And it just makes so much sense now. You know what I'm saying? I'm a true believer of the truth shall set you free. That is some true shit. Whoever said that, God bless them forever and ever and ever because that is some true shit. Deception will hold you back, but the truth shall set you free. And I, and I believe that's part of why he's doing this. He needed to do this. You know what I'm saying? That's that's equivalent to this is why. And I say this very extremely respectfully. This is why if you ever heard someone who's holding on to a secret or someone who's like gay or whatever, they say it's so relieving once they finally, quote unquote, come out because the truth shall set you free. I'll give you a, a really quick example is. Um, in, in a certain part in Florida, I won't say where, cause I don't like to identify my location in a certain part of Florida. Recently, there was a man that just walked into a police station, literally out of the blue. And he said, basically, I want to turn myself in because I killed someone X amount of years ago. I think it was like 20, 30 years ago or something like that. First, they didn't believe him. Long story short, um, he had to give details about the crime that only it was confidential information. It was uh, concealed information. Only the, 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 the detectives knew. And the only way that anybody could have known that is if they really was that close to it and they believed them and they arrested them and they turned them in. Why did that? This was literally 30 years or some shit like that. It might have been 40. You got away with murder. You literally got away with murder. But why? It's because deception holds you down. Deception holds you back. You know what I'm saying? That's why my spirit is so free because I'm never afraid to face the truth. Anyway, let me get this back on point. And the truth shall set you free. So... J-Hope is truly doing this because he genuinely wants to do this. And if you ask me how I understand life, he needed to do this. Okay. Again, let me give you one example. Um, um, I told y'all, y'all hear me say every video. One of my favorite songs from BTS is, um, is, is let me know. And, and, and one thing I've always noticed, and it surprised me the first time I caught it. You could go back and listen to it. First of all, everybody killed that song. Everybody, the whole motherfucking group killed that song. Rappers, singers, you name it, production. It's just dumb how good that goddamn song is. Matter of fact, that might have been the song that threw me over the edge. And I was like, I'm in. Anyway, J-Hope kills his verse. I'm talking. Like, just kills it. But I noticed at the end of it, 
he said like expressingly, he was like, shit, you know what I'm saying? Like he taught this shit, you know what I'm saying? And then at the end, it's like when you cuss somebody out and you be like, man, why you always messing with me? You got to bother me. You got to be like, God damn, man, shit. You know what I'm saying? And he does that at the end of his verse. And now I'll never forget the first time I heard that. I was like, damn, like you really, you really like felt whatever that was you said, because I don't speak Korean. I was like, but I love it because it's just so passionate. But I was like, you really felt that. And now that he's coming out with his true self and releasing this kind of music, it makes sense. It makes sense why I started to realize that J-Hope is low-key my second bias. He is my second bias. Some more of this dark shit. Because y'all hear me talk about the dark music all the time. As a matter of fact, in my video to... um. To my more reaction, I talked about, I mentioned the song Hip Hop File. And I was like, by the way, it's an incredible fucking song if you never heard it. They go crazy. But I didn't even realize at the time I said that, that Hip Hop File is on what album? Dark and Wild. One of my favorite BTS songs of all time. One of my favorite songs and BTS songs of all time. You hear me talk about all the time. Let me know. It's on what album? Dark and Wild. The point that I'm making is Dark uh, and and before I get to that point, let me rewind a little bit. Um when I first dropped my Let's Talk About video when we got um the announcement that J-Hope was dropping a solo album called Jack in the Box. This was before we even heard more. This was before we even heard, saw any visual, any, any, any visual for where he was going with it. I mentioned in that video, I was extremely excited. You could go watch it. This was before we got any information. So my prediction on this was 100% accurate. Respectfully. I mentioned that I remember this Instagram post that he made X amount of time ago. I forgot during what era it was when he was in the studio and he said something like it was a story post where he said something like working on new music. They not ready for the dark side, working on new music. It's time to show the dark side, something like that. I just remember he mentioned the dark side and I got extremely excited. And in that video, I was like, damn, you know what I'm saying? We could definitely look forward to hearing some of that music on this album now here's what's surprising me i thought it was going to be like a well-rounded you know what i'm saying album we was going to get a little bit of ego type of music and then we was going to get a little bit of this and then some of that dark music but no after looking at this hope in the box teaser that released it looks like this entire album is just going to be dark creative art and for those that don't know i mentioned this before but i'm gonna say it again um for those that don't know dark art is some of the greatest art that's ever been created i give you a quick example what is held as one of kanye west masterpiece albums my dark and twisted sick fantasy whatever the hell the name of it is um Another one people hail from Kanye is 808s and Heartbreaks. Again, I'm doing this off the top of my head. Um, I wish I could give more examples. Um, 808s and Heartbreaks. What's one of the greatest movies of all time? All time. You probably already thinking it before I even said it. Titanic, which I love. That's a great movie, by the way. When you think about Titanic, that shit is dark. It's about a fucking ship that's doing nothing but sinking the whole time. From the moment you watch that movie, you know this ship is going down. And then the guy doesn't make it in the end. How more? How much more darker than that can you get? How much more? But they do it so beautifully. So the point that I'm making, and for those that play video games, you know, respectfully, I know females play video games these days. What's one of the greatest video games of all time? Final Fantasy VII. Which is so dark, I can't even begin to talk about. That game is about a plate 
If some guy just want to drop a plate out the sky into a fucking town full of people and, and just all kinds of shit I can't even t I don't even want to talk about because I don't want to spoil the game if you ever plan on playing it one day. One of the greatest games of all time. Extremely dark. Again, for my video game heads. What's one of the greatest Legend of Zelda games of all time? Majora's Mask. And it's dark. So the point that I'm making is... Let me get back on track again. I'm doing this off the top of my head. The point that I'm making is dark art is some of the best art ever. Ever. And... Again, I thought that we was just getting, you know what I'm saying, like, we would get some of that dark music, but we still was going to get the bright shit. But no, this dude is making a dark, artistically creative album, and oh my god, that's like scary movies. Why people love scary movies so much? They're goddamn dark. Dark art is some of the best art, and you know, and it just makes so much sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, why I kind of started to realize over time that J-Hope is low key. My fucking is, is, is my second, is my second bias. It makes so much sense now because the more I'm starting to understand him, the more I'm like, yo, I love this dude. Who's my first bias? Y'all already know if you've been following my channel, if you haven't, it's sugar. You know what I'm saying? And in the earlier days, Sugar was was like known as like the dark one. The members were damn near freaking scared of him, and I loved him. I'm like, yo, y'all tripping, man? This dude, yeah, yeah, I could go all day about that. Dude. I'm like, y'all tripping, man? Sugar, Sugar is my guy, man. You just don't get it. That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? And ironically, he's actually kind of started to brighten up a bit. Um, but again, I think the truth to that is. I believe life is in perfect balance. I'm dropping a little knowledge. I'm talking about the album a little bit on this one. You're getting a little mix of everything. But I feel like life is in perfect balance. And I feel like I love truth. You know what I'm saying? And I think I got an intelligent audience. I really do. Um, and God, that's such a blessing. I'm really starting to love that because the comments y'all be dropping be so phenomenal. So I think y'all can handle this, what I'm about to say. Um, I believe life is in perfect balance. It's just as human beings that's just either pulling this way or pulling that way, whatever, whatever. And I feel like in order to be a balanced person in order to live life properly, you have to acknowledge the bright side of you and the dark side of you as well. We all have it. We all have it. Even in uh burn the stage when uh V and Jen was getting into it, Jen even said, we all know how wise Jen is. I mean, Jen is, Jen is low key. Again, I don't get into who's better, who's not, because they all are phenomenal and they all deserve to be biases. But Jen, you know what I'm saying? Chris Martin from Coldplay said he's the actual superstar of the group. And I see what he mean by that, but I'm not finna get into that. But even Jen said and burned the stage when he was talking to V, like, yo, we all have a dark side. Even I have a dark side as well. But you know, with Jen being a mature one, he 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 gotta stay solid. It's kind of like a parent with their children. Parents can't tell their children everything. They can't show their children everything. You know what I'm saying at once. But anyway. I feel that in order to live life properly and freely, because again, I believe the truth shall set you free, you have to acknowledge your light side and your dark side. And I truly feel like when you're at the point when you can comfortably, and I can understand why it's not comfortable, but when you can comfortably confront your darker side, that is when you become a more complete person um, and you become a more free person as well. When you could comfortably confront your light and your dark side and you could just play with it the way you want to play with it. But anyway, I'm absolutely ecstatic about this album, especially come find out now that it looks like it's just going to be an outright dark creative project and my guy is just really showing who he genuinely is to the world and i know personally he needed that 
his spirit needed that. We know BTS is very spiritual uh, people and artists. We know that. So his spirit definitely needed it. And when I think about that, it doesn't surprise me that he's doing what he ultimately needs to do uh, to be free. Um, and it, I'm just so excited for this. And again, it's just a beautiful thing. Like I said in my video of why I was pointing out the benefits of BTS going solo is because you got to find yourself. And the more you find yourself, the better you can live in this world. And the better you live in this world, the better benefit you can give to other people. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it works. Anyway, I believe I probably got all of my points out. It was all off the top of my head. I'm talking too much. I'm going to just go ahead and wrap this up because this is extended long. But, man, you guys really respect, you know what I'm saying, when I talk to y'all and things like that. And trust me when I say I'm grateful for that because that you just can't get away with that on YouTube. So, for y'all to really appreciate when I talk and we have these discussions, I be in my comment section. I love it. I love it. The only reason why I don't respond to more is because I'm busy making more con uh, more content. But that's just the name of the game, man. BTS. I mean, excuse me. J Hope. Um, Jack in the Box. Hope in the Box. It's on the way. We love it. It literally gets no better than this, baby. Well, actually, it does because the best is yet to come. Let's go, baby. It's euphoria. You already know how we get down. This shit don't stop. It don't.